At first look, this problem can seem overwhelming, but we're going to go through it, make some notes, and then it will be much more manageable. I encourage you to consider this approach when looking at a difficult problem. If you want, you can pause the video here and solve it. Also, if you want to learn more about how recursion works, check out the link to the playlist. The puzzle method has one string parameter called word. The return type is void, so it won't return anything, and an explicit return statement is optional. The recursive case is in the middle of the method. The base case is implicit. With a void method, you don't have to have an explicit return statement. The method will automatically return nothing when it reaches the end. This piece of code will execute as soon as the method is called. It will run as we are going up the stack. This piece of code will execute after the recursive call above has finished. It will run as we are coming back down the stack. Now let's look at what each piece of code does. Having a Java reference sheet handy can make this easier. This line will print out the value of the word parameter, except for its last character. If word has more than three characters, puzzle will be called again and will be passed the value of word without the first character. Remember, word will have different values in different stack frames. This piece of code prints one star for each character in the word. It uses print instead of print line, so all the stars will be on the same line. After the for loop is done, a print line will go to the next line. Suppose a call was made to puzzle and the string drosty was passed. A frame is placed on the stack, and for this frame, word is set to D-R-O-S-T-E. D-R-O-S-T is output to the console. Don't confuse what is output to the console to the value of the word variable. Word has a length of six, which is greater than three, so puzzle is called and passed R-O-S-T-E. A frame is placed on the stack, and for this frame, word is set to R-O-S-T-E. R-O-S-T is outputted to the console. Word length is greater than three, so puzzle is called and passed O-S-T-E. A frame is placed on the stack, and for this frame, word is set to O-S-T-E. O-S-T is output to the console. Word length is greater than three, so puzzle is called and passed S-T-E. A frame is placed on the stack, and for this frame, word is set to S-T-E. S-T is output to the console. Word length is not greater than three, so a recursive call is not made. We continue on and print off three stars, then a new line. We reach the implicit return at the end of the method and pop the frame off the stack. Back to this frame, we pick up where we left off. It prints four stars and pops the frame off the stack. On this frame, we pick up where we left off. It prints five stars and pops the frame off the stack. On this frame, we pick up where we left off. It prints six stars and pops the frame off the stack. This is what we got when we passed the string drosty. As an extra challenge, figure out one of the following and tell me in the comments. First, what could be a value we could pass when we called puzzle that would cause a compile time error where the program wouldn't even start to run? Second, what value could cause a runtime error index out of bounds exception? Third, what value could cause a runtime error null pointer exception? 